Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Do Ministry Gaming, and today we'll be talking about the Bestry League mechanic. When you enter a map with the Bestry League mechanic, you'll notice a quest from Einhar, Beastmaster, who is the primary NPC for the mechanic, and he asks you to hunt and capture beasts throughout the map. Beasts are indicated on the minimap by this icon right here, this red one right here, and can come in two types. A yellow one, uh, will indicate a beast with one bestry mod and this red one here actually indicates the harder of the two uh, Which is a beast with two bestry mods a Red beast also has more life and periodically spawns monsters. So they're much harder to capture and Each map will spawn at least one red beast and two to five yellow beasts So in order to capture these beasts it's very simple. You just have to engage them and basically kill them when the health of the beast drops to about 50%, Einhar will start to help you. And when the beast drops to low enough life, he'll throw a net at the beast, indicating that it's been captured. So I'll just uh, demonstrate that right here with the red beast. So I've engaged it, I've basically killed it, and Einhar has come and captured the beast. Uh, you'll also notice that in the chat, he'll tell you that you've captured the beast. Um, and so let me see if I can go find another one here so you can see that again. So here's a yellow beast. Like I said, there's one bestry mod with this yellow beast. He's been captured and, uh, and, uh, Einhar has notified you that he's been captured. All right. So once you've captured a few beasts, you can now do something called beast crafting and you can access that through a special area for the leak mechanic called the menagerie. You can access the menagerie through the waypoint by clicking the waypoint and by clicking travel to your menagerie button. Or you can also access the menagerie by going to the Einhar NPC and clicking visit menagerie. So this is the menagerie and there's basically two things going on in here. So the first I'll show you is the blood altar, which is up here. The blood altar is where you do all of your beast crafting. So when you click on the blood altar, a list of recipes that you can craft uh will show up and some of these can range from creating basic currency items and uniques to some very powerful reps recipes such as fully linking a rare item a six socket rare item uh, creating an imprint which is something that's very powerful uh of an item uh as well as uh, adding mods to flask so a bunch of very uh interesting and useful recipes and as you can notice here for each recipe on the right uh, shows sort of what you need to have captured in terms of beasts in order to use the recipe. So if I were to create a unique item, for example, I needed these four beasts. I have them all captured, as you can see here. So basically three, any, three rare creatures as well as uh, a savage crab um, beast. Now, for the ones you don't have the beasts for, I have one here, for example, split an item into two. I'm missing this particular beast. It'll tell you which one you're missing. And when you capture it, then you can use the recipe. So I'll show you how to actually use the recipe. So I'm going to do something very basic here. Uh, create a unique ring, let's say. Uh, so you can see here, these are the beasts that it'll take. And these are the beasts that it will be using. And all you have to do is click the crab button. What it'll do is spawn the encounter basically with the four beasts. So the harder recipes or the more valuable recipes will have harder beasts associated with them, um, which will make the encounter harder. So once you've killed the beasts, uh, you can now click on the blood altar and you'll have your reward right here. So in this case, I've gotten this uh, Sybil's Lament Coral Ring as my reward. <clears throat> And I'll do another one just as an example. Uh, again here, create a unique amulet. Again, these four beasts will be consumed and also spawn. And I have to make sure I kill them in order to get the, uh, the reward. Uh, if you're not confident in doing some of the higher level recipes or the higher level beasts, uh, make sure you, you're confident you can kill them because some of these beasts can be very valuable. And uh, if you end up dying, you'll end up effectively having wasted the four, uh, the four beasts. I mentioned before, there are also some unique beasts uh, throughout the, the encounters that you can capture. 
And what you can do one or two things with those unique beasts. Um, the first is you can open a portal to their den. For example, this Feral's den here. Basically, when you open the portal, it is a boss fight that you're going to have to do. You'll actually have to enter the portal so it won't just spawn on you. But you'll enter a portal and you'll have to fight the boss. And when you kill the boss, you have a chance to drop um, the unique items specific to that boss. So, so the, for example, here, the Feral boss will have its own unique Feral uh, gear, uh, as well as sort of this cat and this crab boss will also have their own unique gear. So I encourage you to look those up. Those unique items can be quite powerful uh, and, uh, and can be, you know, build, uh, build changing. Um, so go check those out. The other thing you can do with the unique beasts is you can craft something called an aspect of this, an aspect skill um, to your items, uh, which each of these have their own uh, unique effects as well. So that's beast crafting. Uh, the other thing you can do in your menagerie is not really that useful, but there's these four doors over here. You can access your menagerie depths. And basically this is just essentially a zoo. <laughs> um, you can kind of look at the beasts you've captured. Uh, there's really no other purpose uh, for this. It's really just for kind of show and tell. Um, a lot of people think that you actually have to come in here in order to trade these beasts, which is something I'll talk about right now, but you don't actually have to. So one great thing about Bestiary is that the captured beasts, let's say you don't want to use them and they're actually quite valuable. For example, fully six linking uh, your rare, for example, and you just want to trade that, you can actually do that on the open market. So what you have to do is come to Einhar and actually purchase an item called the Bestiary Orb which I have to go get a Chaos Orb for. Costs you one Chaos Orb, so I'll just grab one of those. And you can purchase this orb uh, from Einhar. And so it's right here. And all you have to do is click on this orb and click on the beast that you want to trade, and it'll store the beast into the orb, and you can now put it on PoE Trade uh, and trade it for currency on the open market. So how you do that is one way is you can go into the zoo there and try to click on the beast itself. But the other easier way is if you open your challenge and achievement menu, uh, there's a bestiary tab. And if you go down to the bottom, it only works on the bottom tab here. All these top ones, you can view your beast, but only goes to the bottom one. And uh, you'll see a list of your captured beasts. So a list of all the beasts and the ones even that you haven't captured, I think. Anyway, you'll see the beast that you can uh, that you have captured, and all you have to do is click the bestiary orb, use it on the beast that you want to store. So, for example, this Rast Slasher here, uh, I just click on it, and now the beast is stored into this orb. As you can see, Rath Slasher, it's got sort of the two mods there, and I can now put this on PoE Trade and trade it on the open market. So there you have it. I think that is everything you need to know about the Bestry League. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video and my other content, please like and subscribe. I also stream on Twitch, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So if you love PoE, come and check it out. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.